My name is Patsy Brown, and this is my resurrection story. Well, I was born in Waverly, Tennessee, Numphers County. I was the third of six children. I was brought up in a good Christian home. We were very close. We lived here all of our lives. I went to school here in Waverly, graduated in 67. Used to every Sunday, we would go to my grandmother's. We'd go to church, and then after church, we would go to my grandmother's where all my cousins was gathered, and we would play ball and climb on the cliffs up down at the creek and swing on grapevines. My dad worked two jobs part of the time. We were never rich, but we were well taken care of, had what we needed. I was baptized when I was in my teens, but I've always went to church and I've always believed in God ever since I can remember. I've just always kind of followed and did what I could. Of course, and I make mistakes like everybody else. Everybody makes mistakes, but you just go on and depend on what you can, what God leads you to do and try to do what your best. I graduated high school in Waverly and shortly after I got married to Ronnie Brown and we've been married for 54 years. We had three children. I'm a wife, a mother, a grandmother, and a great-grandmother. When I got married, I told Ronnie, I said, the one requirement is that you go to church with me. I didn't work when my kids was growing up. After they got to be teenagers, I started to work for a while. I just little odd and end things. I drove a school bus for two years, decided that no, I had a car come close to me one time, like to hit me in it, and I decided if anything happened to any of them kids, I couldn't take it, so I just didn't drive the bus no more. From there, I went to work at the Glasgow Drug in New Johnsonville, and I worked down there for seven years till we closed, and after that, I went up to the hospital, and I started work as a switchboard operator. And from there, I went to medical records. Right before I went to work there, I prayed that I would be working in a Christian environment. And when I went to work, the ladies in there I worked with, there was about four of them, and every one of them were Christians. They were just wonderful. I had had some disappointments at the church I was at and things. And Amy Crone worked there with me, and she kept on saying, well, come to my church, come to my church. And I come one Sunday, and after I come up here, I just felt so much love and so much spirit that I just never left. I've always liked working with children, and I have worked in previous Bible schools and been a Sunday school teacher and worked with Christmas programs, and now I get to work in the nursery here. The first Sunday I worked, we had two children, two babies that just kept crying and crying and crying. I sat with one on each knee and sat in rock and sang to them the whole time. And Miss Delilah thought that I probably wouldn't come back again, but I'm still there. When I started church here, Miss Virginia Simmons kept telling us to come down to the New Life Sunday School class. Alton Hassan was a teacher. We've thoroughly enjoyed the class. Well, we've really had a rough few months there for a while because Ronnie had a heart attack, and then on July 27th, he had heart surgery. But three weeks before he had his heart attack, he found out that his cancer had advanced. But we're weathering a storm, and he's doing good. On the day of the flood in Waverly, we were at home, and the creek started rising. We It had never gotten up at my house, and we just kept watching it. Kids kept calling, wanting to make sure the creek was down. It had crossed the road before and got to the tree in our front yard. I thought, well, we're good. Within 15 minutes, it was all around us. Ronnie couldn't come out because he had just had heart surgery. Wouldn't let him out in the water. I, had, I was trying to move our vehicles out the back to keep them from getting in the water. I pulled, him out, pulled his truck out back, got it stuck. Somebody next door come and pulled me out. Then some of the neighbors come and helped me wade the water all the way back to the house because by that time, the water was already up to my hips. We got back in the house and they says, we'll go get y'all help. So next thing we know, there's an airboat at our back door, and we just stepped right out of the air, back door into the airboat. Some people there took us to the church over at Camden, and we stayed there till Chris come and found us. It took him three hours to find us because we had no cell service, so we couldn't get a hold of him. So he had to go all the way to Clarksville and Dover to get back over to us. Things happened, but I always turned to God, and he 
brings us through it. We were living in our camper, but now we are back in our home since April. Our house is slowly getting back together. We've had all kinds of help fixing it. We've had money donations. We've had people help us. And it's, the Lord has really blessed us in that respect. And knowing God, there's a peace to your life that you can have no other way. The way I, if people could see the peace that he brings to their lives, your life might be rocky, but you still have that peace there knowing everything's going to be okay. I am Patsy. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me.